So yeah, it's currently about midnight and guess what? That's when my brain starts having these weird thoughts and ideas. So I decided to make this video, especially that we are now a couple of weeks away from version 1.2 of Weathering Ways and I wanted to give you all an account update. I'll share how I'm enjoying the game, my opinion on the current state, my thoughts going forward. I'm aware that many of you are concerned, especially after I posted the revenue check on a couple of days ago and some of you went as far as saying Weathering Ways went through the high and it's dying. Well, we're here to set the record straight. Spoiler alert, Weathering Waves isn't dying, he's just going through a phase, and that's perfectly normal. I want to give you my full honest unfiltered thoughts. If you're looking forward to someone to sugarcoat things, then this is not the channel for you. With that being said, let's jump right into it. First things first, I wanted to show you my account. I did spend some money on this account by getting the battle pass and the monthly, although I did notice that if you are smart enough with how you use your asterisk, you don't ever need to spend a penny on this game. The devs has been really generous so far and I hope they keep it that way. I'm currently union level 58 and trying to push to union level 60 with the resources I have, but I've been taking it slow just doing the dailies and making sure I'm collecting enough resources to level my characters to level 90 once I'm level 60. But I'm glad to say the leveling process has been fair and enjoyable so far. I've been building many characters to level 80 with my support at level 70 or so. Using my resources wisely, for instance, I've been focusing on getting two different teams with each team having a main DPS and a couple of support characters in order to heal or buff their damage. Therefore, I build a team with Jinshi, Yu and Yu and Verena, with Yu and Yu helping filling uh, Jinshi's energy for her resonance skill and Verena for buff and heals. My second team being Jian, Mortify and Verena and I've been enjoying this team a lot especially knowing that Jian has a good AoE damage and the ability to group mobs together without being interrupted. I'm still working on building up these characters so like the tower and the holograms. Speaking of holograms, I've been beating almost everyone on the fifth level, can I say that? The holograms have been a joy uh, to tackle and I've been looking forward to more uh, being added in the game once I'm finished with everything, of course. The combat, movement and exploration in Weathering Ways are top notch. While I enjoy the combat, the exploration aspect is what truly shines for me. It's been the best in any gacha games that i played before. I believe this will remain true until the games like Project Mugen comes out, especially more and more games are adopting this style of exploration. Although some feel there is not enough content, I think the engaging gameplay made us burn through it quickly, and this is something that is shared within the gacha community right now. I've almost completed the exploration to about 98 to 100%, including um, every every quest there is. I particularly enjoyed the chest collecting and puzzle solving, so I really burned through them or burned through content so quickly that I already have 50 to 60 hours playtime so far, so that's that's insane. On a high note, I'm excited for version 1.2. I know they're not adding a new area, but instead they are going to be adding some sort of expansion in, in a form of a dungeon beneath Mountain Ferment. And we know this based on a leak came to the game a couple of days ago. And what confirmed it even more is this guy which ran into a glitch that made him go under Mountain Ferment, finding a dungeon that wasn't released yet. Speaking of Mountain Ferment, I found it to be a, an intricate to explore, especially with the addition of new bosses. Let's talk a few cons. One of the biggest letdowns of the game has been Echo Farming. However, I believe this issue will be addressed with the upcoming events for Echoes, especially that been rumors about the release of a certain item in the future that can help with Echo stats rerolls, but it's yet to be confirmed. Farming Echoes never been a problem in the game. For me, it's always been leveling them and tuning them. And if not having the RNG on your side, you can easily burn through a lot of Echoes before getting the right ones. Therefore, I hope they release a balanced way to make it more accessible. Thus, I think I would be speaking for everyone and say that I hope the developers improve the Echo task field by dropping more XP and tuners instead of Echoes, or at least make the drops less RNG dependent. The current system feels redundant 
random since we already deal with the RNG when finding echoes in the world. The randomized echoes on the task field seems sort of unnecessary. It would be better if they guaranteed certain types and reduced the RNG to a certain extent, perhaps. Something that I also want to lightly touch on is how bad the English dubs and translation in the game, and also how the expressions of the models in the game don't really fit the situation and their speaking style. It definitely feels lazy and unfinished, therefore I switched the language to Japanese from the get-go, so I don't have to deal with a bad voice acting in some cases, I really hope they fix this in the future. Something else I wanted to say is that I feel like the game does really suffer from localization problem, I think the names don't really fit all the regions the game is being released to, and they could have slowly rolled in without uh, it being overwhelming. Despite that, I don't think it's a big problem as it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I feel like it could have been tackled in a better way. Regarding competition, I know a lot of you had shown a lot of concerns after the semi-accurate revenue I talked about a couple of days ago in my video, Weathering Ways falls short on the revenue for the month of July. I wanted to clear that out by saying that the comparison to ZZZ's earnings doesn't mean the end of Weathering Waves. Yes, ZZZ might have pulled in more uh, revenue recently, but the, that doesn't tell the whole story. Revenue reports often don't account for all the sources, e income spending. There are regional differences, third party platform sales, and other financial streams that aren't always included in the initial report on that website. So the numbers you see might not paint the complete pictures as according to industry expert game revenue can fluctuate for many reasons seasonal events marketing pushes and evil global economic factors plays a role a single quarter earnings aren't the final verdict on the game's health or future so it's quite normal to see high and lows in revenue taking for consideration the fact that not all revenue streams are mentioned in the website i posted about so i think there is a place for both zzz and uh, weathering ways in the gacha community even though the game is not for me i still think a gacha game like weathering waves isn't meant to be grinded 24 7 these games are designed for you to dip in and out enjoy the content and then take a break it's perfectly normal and healthy to play other games in between despite the bugs and the problems we witnessed upon release i still think that weathering waves got released in the right time especially taking for consideration the development cost of such games the developers needed to release the game to start recouping their investment now that the game is profitable they can reinvest it in and make it even better that's what i like about gacha games it's the infinite amount of funding they get in order to keep releasing content to their games overall i'm very pleased with weathering waves the game has immense potential and the developers are responsive to feedback fixing the story pacing and improving the english voice acting should be a priority in my opinion the early game experience needs improvement but later story quests like jin Chi's and chang Li's are excellent now I want to open up these comments to any questions about my thoughts on weathering ways or viewpoints you feel aren't addressed, performance issues or anything you like to like or dislike about it. With that being said, thank you for tuning in everyone. I'm excited for version 1.2 and the future of weathering ways. If you want to support the channel and keep these videos rolling, please consider becoming a member. It does help the channel a ton. Become a part of the JP Nation. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more updates and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.